Hi, and today we talk about uh, the first steps for a map. So, um, I search a bit stuff for myself and uh, will make uh, a showcase uh, how I started some maps. And uh, let's go just uh, in one map, maybe one of my first uh, maps. Uh, this is Feet of uh, of the Lonely Mountain, so it's actually made for an event. Uh, let's just... I don't like that farms are visible. Um, this was a, a project uh, what's making actually the, uh, the map from the movies, uh, from the Hobbit when uh, when the armies of the uh, when the five armies uh, comes together, you know. So I tried to make a, a three versus three map for this, and this is the result. So uh, now is the question: How I started with this uh, monstrosity? So, and I have some links made, and I guess this is the first, yeah. Um, this was my first book, uh, Princip, like uh, the first, uh, it's the first idea. Um, we have the, we have six armies, uh, we have the Aintorian Sewers in one spot, also the Elves, uh, men and heroes here in the ruins. Like a three versus three map, actually more like in FFP. So um, important is uh, there are some stuff that is important. Uh, to be, uh, the gate of Erebor, also in um, uh, some of the, these tunnels. Uh, I didn't put them inside at the end. Uh, I wanted actually to put the worms outside, uh, but uh, this time I wasn't. I was nagging stuff like this. So uh, then, then I searched for uh, pictures like this, uh, and uh, for I can maybe make uh, a middle space and uh, um, the building the Raven Tower on Sport Four. Uh, watch the videos uh, of the making of the uh, house and see what's the best. Found this nice map here, and so on. And uh, then I got more form inside. I make here the Raven Tower, made here the elves and the men. The city was big, uh, then Gunda got time. So this was my first uh, invention for this. Looks like this. And then I also asked, uh, I asked always for help. And uh, we told, uh, we cut the middle. And uh, we're just using this tree and this tree and that's all. And uh, this is actually the, the, the whole layout. Uh, from this point on, uh, there was no much more change in, in the stuff. Uh, here came the other hill inside, it comes another way uh, to the players, but uh, the basic is here uh, made. You see them uh, changing some good stuff. Uh, like I said, here came uh, then the flag. And this is actually now the design of the, of the current map. Until the result. It's not the final, but it's almost the final. So, uh, this is the first. So, actually, uh, you, you start to try some, some following some rules. For example, a uh, one big rule is uh, not to narrow the the walkways. For example, this was too narrow uh, for a whole army to walk. This is good. This is good, but uh, this was too narrow. So uh, we changed the the bridge de design completely and make uh, here really wide bridges. You want uh, clashes of armies, uh, now you need to uh, at least like uh, three big uh, walkways in the middle. 
and also the super is here to get uh, some uh, sneaky units I can side. So let's go to the next map. Uh, I, I prepared something, so let's go maybe. Like la voz, let's go here. Y mamito. Um, this is the design of um, of Merkle 2. Also, uh, when this doesn't look like it, uh, but this looks pretty much like it. Uh, this will be also an struggle, and this is also an struggle, and you have actually um, the full map. And then come the trees and uh, all the stuff, the beauty stuff. But um, basically, uh, he was made to lay out. So uh, this this map is pretty huge. Uh, the distance of players are are gi giant uh, gigantic. So um, it's still gigantic the map, and it's still uh, the best way to win this is maybe horses or something. Like that. Uh, uh, it's an enjoyable map, uh, much people like it. Yeah. Um, the main obstacles, uh, this one, this one, this one on each side. Uh, you see, uh, I never close actually uh, the flanks completely. I let the flanks open to uh, to move around and to, to get uh, some stretchable uh, stretch it uh, this word you know um, some opportunities to make uh, to to move around and uh, to don't get like uh, you're moving your your riders here, you're seeing there's an array and there's pikes, uh, then you're fucked up. And uh, now you can go around, maybe. Yeah, but um, the important thing is um, I never close the, the flanks. Uh, also, I never make um, a map with uh, for one versus one uh, without the middle, uh, without the middle way. Uh, there are some EA maps uh, doesn't have uh, where the middle closed and they uh, just have two flanks. Uh, it's a real gameplay. It's a really, really good choosing map for any player. Uh, so uh, most important is always like uh, walkways are wide, relatively wide. Um, and uh, nothing's 100% uh, closed, so you can also walk around. And you have a middle and you have two flanks, and one versus one battle. So, uh, this came then to. I just show first the map. Uh, yeah, this is the map. Actually, it should have clouds. It had before actual clouds, but uh, much darker clouds. Uh, we changed the clouds because it's unfair for someone who plays actually uh, in low resolution. Uh, you see everything. And the guy who uh, says, uh, I want to enjoy the map, I want to, to see the beauty of the atmosphere, uh, he's so dark, you see nothing. Uh, yeah, you see, uh, this is another thing what I, I uh, use, uh, you see actually here in the... Uh, actually the map here. Oh. Uh, you saw actually this deposit. You see here the farm plots. Uh, these are farm plots with uh, resize to uh, 2.75 uh, to get uh, like the area of the fortress. So I'm not wondering. This was uh, the original light, you know, uh, pretty dark. So 
Um, yeah. Um, let's go on to the next one. Uh, Mount Doom. Mount Doom is based on a on another map. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Um, you see, it's actually it looks uh, it looks like here is a two versus two uh, with with uh, additional players. So it's a three versus three map. Uh, they, um, you have two players uh, really close and one is uh, a bit more separated. Uh, so I have here what's it with it here. So um, the red points are the, the player spots. This was the, the first um, design, and actually with this uh, kind of design, I I also use it to export to T uh, to TGF or TG Wordness. Show short. Yay. So, right here, a uh, file like this. So, just use a three point uh, TGA. Export this. Funny thing is, now I can open to play into desktop and this, and you have basically uh, the map done. A little technique I use. Uh, it took me a bit of time to, to learn it and uh, to test to get uh, good results for this. Uh, I can recommend it, but uh, it's a bit tricky to learn. So every pixel uh, you need another color to uh, get the hills good. In my first map, I didn't do it, but uh, from I guess last bridge was the first I did with this. Uh, this was the f wait. Uh, yeah. This, this is last bridge, actually the first design, and uh, um, I changed my form of design to this. And then uh, this was uh, at, at the end, last bridge. But it was on the other map, I guess. It was on this. Yeah. Uh, it's a really clear design for a 3 vs. 3 map. Um, like this three players. Uh, in difference to, uh, to this map, uh, what is actually basically, it's unfair. Because. Um, you have here a player really exposed to everybody. This guy get attacked from three sides directly, and everybody have a good way for it. So you have a uh, one, you have one player exposed, and two players that will be uh, uh, like defending. And here you have actually one player more defending and two a bit more exposed. Uh, this one is much, much more fair. So let's go to the next one. Uh, this is Iron Mountains. Um, actually, it it kept uh, for a long time uh, this design. Um, you have here the players, 
um, yeah, here the long ways. Uh, I made it uh, later a bit shorter. And uh, basically, this is the first design of, uh, of Iron Mountains. And when you see actually the Iron Mountains uh, kept uh, being like this. Now I made uh, Iron Mountains 2 uh, updated version and uh, uh, I probably probably uh, will update this because uh, this flanks uh, was uh, it was really too far to walk the flanks and this is a short distance and this was a really long distance as well. Uh, this troll um, was really annoying for the guys uh, who wanted to use the flanks. So um, we removed the troll at the end but uh, first, first we, we cut it here and here and uh, made here more space for the troll and then we saw uh, actually the flanks are with this really huge and um, we put here a dragon lair inside here dragon lair uh, here dragon lair inside um, to remove the, like the extra space in the early game because nobody attacks in the early game a dragon lair. Uh, the inns we, uh, we exchanged for um, for signal fires. Um, yeah. So um, it's maybe a map uh, where you can you can uh, if you have the flanks uh, be good in the late game or middle game late game. Because the signal fires give you advantage, and uh, the, the dragon uh, give you extra space for building. So before before I made this, uh, I I had the idea. I searched a bit in Google Earth and uh, found this uh, glacier. On this, and uh, I wanted a waterfall, I wanted this glacier, so uh, I came to this pattern. And, uh, it's basically also a bit uh, reminding on a lot of maps who have this river inside. This river reminds uh, always in uh, Fort of Hilsen 2 as well. Uh, and there we are with a new. This river, it's always uh, a bit the same in this case. And then I made this, uh, this layout. I exported this, tried it again, and then I painted it. And uh, yeah, the result that you see here. Okay, uh, next, yeah, next. See on the list. No. This, uh, oh, this is actually the first design of this. First painting again. Um, when you have the design, actually, then it's just fun. It's just uh, completely uh, get flown with the this. This didn't work out. Um, getting with the texturing takes a bit of time, but it's funny or it's enjoyable. This didn't work because uh, nothing can go on the river. By the way, uh, in case somebody wants to know. Um, Gardens of Farhad. There are um, first design I have also somewhere. I guess this. Um, it changed. 
Uh, more ways downstairs, upstairs, and uh, this is uh, the first uh, two versus two map. Uh, I can say it's playable. Really, I tried a lot, and uh, still there are a lot of obstacles in the middle, which uh, makes it hard. Uh, also, us. Two versus two uh, uh, to be compatible with the others. It's not an Udo map, but uh, it's a map you can play uh, maybe sometimes. So uh, I made the uh, other stuff what I never, never really finished or never really. Uh, finish because uh, I showed it and uh, we say no it's, it's missing something this uh, was actually in thinking to, uh, to get uh, through something also two versus two and this map I, I did but uh, the problem was uh, the, the player are too separated, it's also two versus two if you see. And uh, nobody goes uh, through the middle here. These uh, obstacles are pretty weird for this two versus two map. Um, there are two room maps uh, I was inside to make. Uh, one room map uh, was actually for Mactalion. I don't have it open. No, I don't have it open. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the room. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's more so, um, more a jungle room. It's uh, on the lake uh, here. They, they make salt. Mm. Nice ideas inside, but uh, at the end, uh, it's not a really good uh, 2 versus 2 map. I like the waterfalls. This was the first time I made this uh, kind of waterfalls, like um, uh, 55 uh, degree waterfalls, that are going slowly down, not uh, like this here directly. I enjoyed this map, uh, making this map, but at the end it's a bit sad. Uh, and it's not that good. Here we have a tunnel. No offense. <laughs> and the other room map, I, I had um, a toy with, and uh, this is still in work actually. Because um, this has so many versions, I, I get, I think it has over 50 versions, and uh, it's still in discussion. Uh, what do we do with this one? Rune is a, a nightmare. Still, I remember I played this with uh, with some guys here, but. Um, to be honest, uh, when I play a map, I just enjoy it, but uh, I, I really need always to ask uh, uh, some more skilled players uh, how they like the map, how is the map for them, and they tell me then, uh, this map is too small. Actually, this uh, this map, uh, I tell you, for example, so at the end, uh, it's kind of small. And 
uh, maybe it goes in a new patch like this, I'm not sure, and uh, maybe we change it still. Uh, but the thing is, I I have always problems with two versus two maps. I don't know. I mean, you don't have to, uh, to be a genius to make a two versus two map like we do. You just uh, put your something in the middle, make your hill inside, uh, put here the there the there the there the, and then uh, you're done. You can can paint it and beautiful works. But uh, I don't want to copy. Uh, Especially this map, I don't know. So, uh, that's all what I got for today. Um, if you have questions to this uh, layout, it's uh, actually more a showcase uh, than a layout. But ask me also uh, if you have questions. I, I have to say, I have also like a, a lot of a tons of map uh, what I made before, and uh, they weren't so good. And uh, basically, uh, what I can say at the end is um, don't make too narrow stuff. I also changed this because this is too narrow. Um, in 2 vs 2 maps, it should be a 2 vs 2 and not 2 1 vs 1. Get at least maybe uh, one farm for the, the normal uh, sideways. And uh, even bigger the middle way. What else? I don't know. Maybe you have questions and uh, next time I have a new video with new content and can help you with your questions. Uh, let me know in the commentaries. Uh, give me a like if you want, uh, subscribe if you want and uh, see you the next time. Ciao!